the difference between the Volvo XC40 and the Tesla. C40 both vehicles have a lot to offer. For starters, they're both electric, which means no more money is squandered at the gas station. You may be considering a Tesla model as your next vehicle, but after knowing more about this Volvo, you may be pleasantly pleased. Keep an eye on the screen to learn more about this comparison. Before we continue, kindly hit the notification button to be notified when next I post new videos. So without further ado, let's dive in. We don't have any official statistics yet, so we're not going to spend a lot of effort on price comparison. Volvo has provided us with some estimation from the beginning price of the XC40 recharge. However, when you compare Volvo's price predictions to the Model Y's long range, all-wheel drive form, you can see that even when you factor in the 7,500 US tax credit, the Volvo XC40 recharge and the Model Y are the same basic price range. So let's get into the comparison parts and see how these vehicles stack up in the terms of technology and functionality. When it comes to the interior of the XC40, there's a range of passenger and cargo capacity, as well as an efficient charging warranty and resale value. It comes with a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster and a 9-inch touchscreen infotainment system. While the digital instrument cluster is excellent, the 9-inch touchscreen infotainment system is relatively modest, especially when compared to Tesla's enormous 15-inch center display. The XC40 is equipped with an Android-based infotainment system that includes Google Maps, Google Assistant, and the Google Play Store. When a motorist enters a destination into Google Maps, it uses road curvature, elevation, and temperature along the route to determine the battery's remaining charge upon arrival. And like Tesla, it will show charging outlets along the way to help reduce range anxiety. Of course, the Android-based system has a lot of advantages and is extremely familiar to most users because so many people have used Android-based systems. And it's quite straightforward and should be very easy to use. Tesla, on the other hand, remains the king of infotainment. As previously said, the Tesla Model Y boasts a significantly larger 15-inch screen that is ideal for video. Tesla is also recognized for their continuous software updates that increase the operation of their vehicles. And what's even better is that many of their features are implemented based on feedback from actual customers. Elon Musk and the Tesla crew are continually listening to what people are saying, what customers are saying, and what features they want to be added to their vehicles. The Tesla Model Y also has some pretty useful software features such as Sentry Mode, which allows you to keep an eye on your vehicle while you're not there. A dash cam recorder, in my opinion, is one of the most important features as it allows you to record camera angles all around your vehicle, allowing you to prove who is actually at fault in the event of an accident. Many additional standard features are incorporated in the Tesla Model Y. The XC40 comes included with a motorized liftgate, but you'll have to pay extra for what they term pilot assist, which is quite similar to Tesla's autopilot, which is included in the Model Y's base price. The XC40, on the other hand, comes with many of the safety aid features as standard, and it, like the Model Y, may receive over-the-air software updates. So when it comes to technology and functionality, Tesla wins since their vehicle has a lot more built-in features and a lot more of them come standard without costing more. Let's look at the passenger and cargo capacity of each of these vehicles presently. As you can see from the graph, the Model Y is larger than the XC40 in almost every outside dimension. As a result, the Tesla Model Y has a bit more internal space in terms of headroom and legroom. And when comparing the official towing rating of each of these from the manufacturers, the Model Y can tow a lot more weight than the Volvo XC40 Recharge. The Volvo XC40 Recharge has a front trunk, but even with it, the total enclosed cargo capacity with the back seats folded down is roughly 48.5 cubic feet. But the Tesla Model Y has nearly 20 cubic feet greater storage space. So in terms of passenger room freight and towing, Tesla currently has a clear advantage. Let's examine the performance characteristics of these two cars and the XC40 marginally outperforms the long range all wheel drive Model Y in terms of speed. When it comes to top speed, it goes from 0 to 100 km per hour, and in comparison to the Tesla Model Y, it is noticeably faster. As a result, the performance XC40 receives the award. Let's look at how these vehicles compare in terms of range and efficiency. When you look at the EPA's rated efficiency for the Model Y and compute the miles you can travel per kilowatt hour of battery, you'll notice that it's pretty efficient as a vehicle. The XC40 Recharge has a 78 kilowatt hour battery pack of which 75 kilowatt hours are usable, according to Volvo. They predict that the EPA range of this car will be greater than 200 miles. So using Volvo's official EPA numbers and calculating the miles you can travel per kilowatt hour of battery capacity, you can see that the XC40 Recharge does not appear to be particularly efficient. To obtain a truer picture, 
we'll look at real-world efficiency estimates for these vehicles. So according to a betterroutplanner.com calculation of watt hours per mile for each of these vehicles at 65 miles per hour on the highway, the Model Y's actual range should be closer to roughly 247 miles or 398 kilometers. Based on the same site, the Volvo XC40 Recharge should be able to travel roughly 225 miles or 362 kilometers. When looking at the miles per kilowatt hour, the evdatabase.org is another respected site that estimates the real range for each of these vehicles and you can see that they estimate the Model Y long range all-wheel drive variant to have around 260 miles of real world range and the Volvo XC40 to have around 230 miles of real world range. When compared to these more realistic examples, it's clear that the efficiency figures are closer than they appear. The Tesla Model Y, however, remains the leader in terms of range and efficiency. While Volvo is more efficient than it appears at first look, it still falls short of Model Y. Now let's look at charging speed and infrastructure. According to the EVDB, the Tesla Model Y can charge from 10% to 80% in roughly 22 minutes if you compute how many miles of range you're adding every minute and how many miles are added total during this 10% to 80% charge. Using the EV database real world range, as our range estimate, you can see that the Tesla Model Y can charge at around 8.27 real-world miles per minute of charging. While the Volvo XC40 should be able to charge from a 10 state to charge to an 80 state of charge in around 40 minutes using its max charge rate of up to 150 kilowatts. When it comes to charging speed, the XC40 is about half as quick as the Model Y when it comes to miles added per minute according to the EVDB real-world range estimations. Tesla's model also comes with access to their supercharging network, which is significantly superior to any other network on the planet. Electrify America and Ionity in Europe both have a lot of decent fast charging stations, but they don't have anywhere like the number of places that Tesla does, and Tesla also has access to all other charging networks. So when it comes to driving a Tesla, it not only charges faster, but it also has more charging ports available. So when it comes to charging speed and infrastructure, Tesla once again takes the lead. Let's compare the warranties for these vehicles. Tesla's battery in the Model Y long range of performance variant is guaranteed for 8 years or 120,000 miles, while Volvo's battery in the XC40 Recharge is guaranteed for 8 years or 100,000 miles unless you live in California, in which case you get a 10-year, 150,000 mile warranty. Tesla's powertrain guarantee is similar. It's 8 years or 120,000 miles, while their comprehensive warranty is 4 years or 50,000 miles. The XC40's recharge powertrain warranty appears to be 4 years and 50,000 miles, which is the same as the comprehensive warranty. In the regard, the Tesla Model Y warranty is superior to the Volvo's. Therefore, Tesla has a little better warranty than Volvo, particularly when it comes to the powertrain. Before we get into Tesla's one major flaw, there's one last point I want to bring up. The resale value comparison of both SUVs. According to a recent Inside EBS article, the Tesla Model 3 three-year depreciation number was calculated at around 10, with the EV industry average somewhere around 52% depreciation. Inside EBS cited data from iCars.com and you can see on this chart that the Tesla Model 3 has the lowest depreciation percentage of any other electric vehicle when it comes to three-year depreciation. According to the study, Volvo as a brand expects its vehicles to depreciate by roughly 50% in three years, even though we don't have official depreciation data for the Model Y. Although it is a new vehicle, the Model 3 has a strong track record and as you can see, it has one of the lowest depreciation percentages for any of the other vehicles on the market. As a result, I believe it's realistic to expect that Model Y will depreciate far less than the Volvo XC40 recharge. As a result, we're awarding Tesla 7 points and Volvo 0 points in this category. Now, just because Tesla won each of these categories doesn't mean the XC40 Recharge is a horrible vehicle. I truly like the Volvo XC40 Recharge, and it has a nice interior. The Volvo style is one of my favorites, and it's more efficient than it appears. Tesla does have one major flaw that could be its Achilles heel. Right now, Tesla is dealing with a slew of fit and finish concerns, particularly with her newest vehicle, the Model Y. Tesla is still fine-tuning its production methods for the Model Y, so there are several paint concerns, as well as panel gaps and other mismatched components. Aside from a few minor interior concerns that have been cropped up from time to time, Tesla has been quite quick and thorough in resolving these issues. 
As we've seen, the Volvo XC40 will not be able to outperform the Tesla Model S in terms of software or hardware, but it will most likely outperform the Tesla Model S in terms of fit and finish quality, and possibly customer service. I believe Tesla can get away with some of these fit and finish concerns right now because their cars are so technologically advanced, offer so many amenities, and are so enjoyable to drive. Tesla will have to improve their fit and finish flaws as more EV competitors enter the market and more decent EV options become available, or they risk losing their market leadership position. That's all for today, folks. Thank you for spending some time with us. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button and the notification bell and subscribe to our channel to get access to more interesting videos from us. Until next time.